Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Evidently my voice is still not cooperating with me, however, other than the voice cracks, I listened to the last video while I was editing it. Didn't sound too off, so that's good. I thought it was gonna sound way worse, because to be honest, I feel like this microphone is performing miracles, because it sounds way worse in person. Also, I do really like these new menus, where they have, like, the whole thing is just a big video, and then they have the menus there. I think it's cool, personally. It's very minor, but... I still think it's interesting. So once again, we are going to be doing a fantasy draft. Yeah, the trend continues even in NHL 23. It do be like that. But to be fair, they just gave me so many cool options. How can I not? We're going to do 48 teams. I guess you can only do... Oh, you can do two or no conferences. That's interesting. Oh, I just realized. Do I have to have all these teams created? Or can I just throw in... Yeah, you can probably throw in like teams from other leagues. I think we'll be okay. We will leave the salary cap as is. Yeah, we won't adjust this at all. We'll just leave it default. I'm going to set it to play 84 games just for fun. Actually, surprisingly, my voice seems to be holding up a little bit better now, which I don't get how that works, but I'm not going to complain. Okay. Yeah. They just add in teams from other leagues. That's amazing. I don't even have to do anything. Once again, not doing it from play now. We're just going to do it here. So I will stare into the camera while I randomize and I will be stopping about now. We get the Seattle Kraken. It was almost San Jose again. I also love that the Coachella Valley Firebirds are in this game. That is immaculate. It even does the divisions for you. Incredible scenes. Owner mode off, fantasy draft. Yeah, it's kind of the whole point. Jabroni, no thank you. Fog of War, no. And I think we're okay. Let's say we get pick number 13. All right, let's find out if I was even close to right. Probably not. Here we go. Where are we? Oh my word, we have pick 38. I forgot that there was 48 teams, honestly. I wouldn't have changed my answer anyway, but pick number 38. This is crazy. The man who is now a Columbus Blue Jacket, Johnny Goudreau. 90 overall, X Factor, a few abilities there too, not a big deal. 9.7, let's, yeah, mm, I'm debating between him and Ekblad, but let's go with Goudreau. And now pick 11. I could take Malkin to play with Johnny. I could also take Markstrom. At 6 million, 90 overall. Thatcher Demko, 5 million, 89. And Soros, you see what I see, also 5 million, 89. Sorokin's only making 4 at 88, but hmm. I'm gonna go with Markstrom simply because of the last fantasy draft. So if you haven't seen my first draft on NHL 23 yet, go check that out. Wow, players are dropping like flies here. Okay, let's go with, we'll take Latang. 88 overall, he's the only 88 overall player left. 6.1 isn't too bad. And that'll be our first defenseman. He's also a right-handed defenseman. Gotta keep a mental note of that. I could take Brian Rust. I could also take Tom Wilson. Let's go with Tommy Boy. What's his discipline? 65. Could be better, but we get to add some toughness to the squad. We are in need of a first line center. And I think Granlund can fill that role. So we will be selecting him as our, what pick was that? Our fifth pick. I knew that. Let's get Latang a defensive partner. Cam Fowler fits the role. So we will go ahead and make that selection. Timothy Jimothy still flooded with abilities. 84 overall. 5.7 is a little steep, but I'm still down. Second liner with all those abilities. Are you kidding me? I feel like Barabanov's definitely going to be a new go-to on this game. 83 overall, 2.5 million. It's only 28. Phil Kessel will likely be taken quite a bit as well, but I'm going to go with Felino, who's another pretty common selection for me in fantasy drafts. Someone who I don't know if I've ever taken is Frederick Goudreau. He is 82 overall at 1.2. Welcome to the squad. We got $33 million of cap space left. Our starting goalie, our first defensive pair. Connor Sheary would be great for the third line. 82 overall, two-way forward. Not making a whole lot. I mean, this just means we could take some higher salary players later on in the draft when other people can't afford them. So let's go ahead and make that pick as well. This one is not so cap friendly. Josh Anderson. 82 overall. He's making 5.5, but he would be phenomenal for the third line, I feel like. Power forward. Yeah, he's only got 65 discipline, actually. I'm kind of surprised by that. Not gonna stop me, though. Paul Stasny. Playmaker. 1.5 million. What's his defensive category? Three and a half. That's not bad. He's got 85 face-offs, and he's missing a couple chicklets, which, I mean, how do you say no to that? I'm just now noticing that I have disregarded defensemen entirely. So I'm gonna take Golikowski, who is 37 years young, and then because I know he's right-handed, I'm gonna take Luke Shen as well. 70 discipline. Discipline. Braun's also right-handed. He's got 85 discipline. Shen has the five-star physicality though, which truthfully could just mean he takes more penalties, but I don't care. I'm still drafting him. I want to get some players that have potential. Ryan Merkley, he is only 73 overall, but 
I feel like this works for some reason. It worked in the other game. Hopefully it works in this one. Let's take him to be our final right-handed defenseman. This man won three cups in a row. So he is a Stanley Cup magnet. I just really don't like that his discipline is 70. We have enough of those players taking penalties already. So I'm going to take Cogliano, who's got 95 discipline. Now we just need two more forwards, a defenseman, and a backup goalie. Uh-oh. He's got medium starter potential. 71 overall, not ideal. But maybe he'll work. Probably not. We'll try it out. I'm just trying to take some young players as if this was a multi-year draft sort of thing, even though it's not. 90 discipline. He's a centerman. Derek Stepan will be our fourth line center, I guess. Maybe he could be third line. I have no idea, to be honest. We'll just do best lines and whatever that gives us. We need a left-handed defenseman. Wow, we have a lot of cap space. I was being almost too conscious of our cap. We'll go with Jack Johnson. He can play with Merkley. Will that work? No idea. In fact, I would go as far as to say probably not. Congratulations, Zach Parise. You are a right winger now. Maybe. So from here, we will sim the entire draft and go put our roster together, which I feel like we're going to be a stinker. Not going to lie. I don't think we did too well. We got Brad Lambert down there. So that's good, I guess. Wait a minute. This isn't our team. That's our team. Okay, that's weird. Maybe it's like a bug in the game where if you have the 48 teams, it doesn't really know how to handle it and it thinks you're at position X when you're actually at position Y. I do not have high hopes for this team. But then again, there is 48 squads and that means that everybody else had the whole problem of there being more teams as well. They want Cole Huckins to play. Uh, unlikely. At least our first line gets a plus three. Our power play gets a plus five. Absolutely no line chemistry here defensively. And we have 73 overall. Ryan Merkley. In net, we have 90 overall Markstrom. My voice is quitting on me, in case you couldn't tell. And 71 overall Nico Dawes. He's listed as a minor backup goalie, but no, you're going to be an NHL backup goalie. Some might even call it a major backup goalie. All right, here's the team. I would say 35 wins. Goudreau gets the most points with... I don't even know. Let's say 72, just because that's a sick number. Markstrom better be ready because he's playing a lot of games. All right, just took a little break mid-video to upload my first video from NHL 23, which was the $39 million salary cap draft. But now we have a new draft and we are about to find out how this one goes. Two, two, and one. That's not bad. Okay, I don't want to get my hopes up too early here, but I may have underestimated this team. I'm going to be honest, I did not see this coming. I don't know why we're so good. It's got to be Markstrom. But I do think the fact that we have toughness on our team works because if you've seen some of my drafts, even on NHL 22, if you take some players that are good and some low overall players with high potential, they just seem to mesh. And if you also take physical players, it works. I don't know why it works, but it works. I'm going to give you a crazy spoiler alert though, and that is that we get first rounded in the playoffs. Cheeky little three game losing streak right there. Might as well make it four. Never mind. Ooh, the Islanders fired Michael Moreau. Sorry about your luck. I guess that could have been Michelle. So I was thinking about maybe making deadline moves because I thought we were going to stink, but I think there's no point. We can see who's available, but if things are clicking, you know, why... Try to fix what's not broken. It's not even a crazy trade deadline. We have Uyghur, 86 overall, and then Carlson, 86 overall, Gosses Bear, 85. So, I mean, there's some good players available, but we don't really need anyone. I feel like I haven't even screwed the next GM either. Like, if someone was to take this team over next year, we're still sitting pretty good. We have that cap space, a decent amount of young players. Let's finish up the season and see if we can keep this train rolling. Three wins. Who, who even believes in a post-trade deadline collapse anymore? We're past that. Well... On second thought, now we're three and three. Maybe I take that back. Ah, yes. Yes, of course. A five game losing streak. It does still look like we're going to win the division no matter what though. So that is fire. Can we get 50 wins? Come on. Come on. Yes. Final game. Oh, my voice. <laughs> no. Even though there's 84 games in the season, we still take 49 dubs. So we were first in the division with 108 points. Does this mean we finished first in the league? Or is this conference? Imagine we won back-to-back -back President's Trophies. There's no way. Someone got more than 108 points. No, Oh my word, we were so close. The Toronto Maple Leafs win the President's Trophy. They also had 48 wins. They had Burakovsky, Giroux, and Kapanen. Dadanov, Dano, and Lindblom. Defensively, they had Lindgren, McAvoy, Dumba, Weidman, Gibson, and Nett. They're pretty good. How many teams make the playoffs? Is it still only 16 teams? Oh, I suppose it is. It feels so weird scrolling for this long. The Islanders finished with 58 points. Oh my word, who was on your team? Vrana, Sorelli, Nylander, Silverberg, Lizotte, Carrier. 
Yossi and Manson. Poor Yossi. And they had Freddie Anderson in net. Johnny Goudreau had the most points with 76. Tom Wilson and Latang had a nice amount of points. Oshie, 67. Granlin, 65. 58 out of Shiri. Both goalies actually did pretty good. Dawes had a mediocre record, but he had a 915 and 264. Markstrom went 43, 19, and 9. Five shutouts, 916, 234. And Markstrom would actually lead goalies for wins. I mean, he did play six more games than the next guy and only had one more win, but we don't talk about that, just like we don't talk about Bruno. Holtby and Gibson, the only two goalies to break the... 0.92 save percentage on the front page i should specify for defenseman adam fox led he was not point a game 82 points in 84 games mccarr had 78 hamilton 76 75 from mcavoy austin matthews led the league with 113 points and 55 goals we have 62 from ovechkin ranton had 109 marchi 107 nate mack 106 and then ov with 102 62 would be enough for the Rocket Richard, I assumed as much, but figured it was worth checking. I wonder if there's a way to specify how many teams make the playoffs. I feel like there is, but I don't really remember seeing it. Anyway, here we go. We got the Montreal Canadiens in round number one. That's a good start. Very good start. Hello? Don't you dare. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That's poetic. I can't even be mad. It's just funny. Florida Panthers, Stanley Cup champion, San Diego Gulls take home the Calder. I feel like I have to do a max league salary cap now. Pretty sure the max you can set it to is 120 or 125. Latang, Goudreau, and Oshi all got five points. Can't even blame Markstrom. 937, 173. He did outstanding. Demko, 16 Ws. He had a 934 and a 208. Merzlikens had an 888 and somehow still did all right. Vince Dunn led defenseman. 17 points and we have riley with 16 and then carlson and fox both had 15 nate mack what a stud muffin 37 points in 22 games 27 from rust in 22 games not even close so nate mack is absolutely broken in this game in case you didn't know ovi with a casual 24 shooting percentage well let's go through the awards here stanley cup and the presidents we already knew that matthews with the art ross and the heart morrissey gets the norris point with the lady bang shane wright gets the calder again nate mack rightfully gets the con Smythe. markstrom with the vesna let's go merzlikens with the william m jennings lindgren gets the masterton Salve. Suave? That guy gets the Jack Adams, Barkov with the Selkie, Matthews with the Lindsay, and Ovi gets the Rocket Richard. Here is your playoff tree. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. A 4-1 finals. Wow, Florida. They made light work of those playoffs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, and hopefully you're enjoying the NHL 23 content so far. I'm having a good time with it, other than this vocal issue. So thank you very much for watching. If you have other video ideas, be sure to let me know, and I'll see you soon.